Hello there, my name is Emin EMC Soft, and in this video I will show you how you can connect your email to your Bitrix, how you can create signature, how you can create templates for email and how you can use one email for our employees, so one email for many users. It's a surprise for me, but it's very important for many customers. And I will just touch how we can do serial marketing and how we can do serial marketing via robots. I got a separate video for that and I will attach that videos in comments for that video. Okay, let's go. We go testing portal. We go into mailbox integration. So uh, you can connect mail, Outlook, out, uh, iCloud, Office, or just entering login and password. I'm not going to, to show you that because it's kind of quite easy. I will, and not more commonly used, but uh, I will connect IMAP because mainly you connect to your company address, right? Right, so you got a uh, this settings page and I will enter here some contact information. So I need to put here email. So I just prepared some data here. So I copy email, put in here, copy IMAP server. So you can uh, find out your IMAP server in ChatGPT if you wish, put default. So using login and password. Okay, then import emails for a week up until today into a Bitrix mailbox from that email. So it means that the last emails for last week will be entered here and you will have created a lot of leads or you can add a month. So I was asking them for at least six months. So they, as you see, they are working for them. I mean, Bitrix working for that. Edit parameters. So you can give a name for that mailbox just to get recognition what it's about. I will, I will check, I'll show you in real. So this is a my, my real email connected. If I'm going to settings, so this is a mailbox name. So just for me, just easy to select if I have a, a many emails. Right, email server, web interface, URL, which is this one. If you're going to use external SMPT, so if SMPT server, which is important, for example, for email marketing. So when you, for example, create external SMPT in, in a mail gun or a send grid, you can use this SMPT and put it here and send the email for email marketing using external SMPT instead of your SMPT from your account, which is important because if you use, for example, for email for email marketing, you should use special SMPT set up for email marketing right? Otherwise, you will be bound after 1000 emails. So I'm not going to use it. And CRM integration, right? So important emails received since week into CRM and convert each to activity all the time. So select a week. I will uncheck that. Wrote emails from existing clients to assign a CRM manager. Means that if you got incoming emails from some certain email address, that email address will be like assigned to the CRM manager. So and if you got email email address and if any email from that email address will be assigned to some certain CRM manager and it doesn't mean who is responsible for the deal or lead okay create a lead for incoming messages from a new email address or create a contact so i of course recommend the lead because uh, if you got incoming email it, you should have a new lead but you need to check that lead before to save in your database because otherwise database will be spoiled right create on contact for going message to new email address yeah i'm recommend to use lead as well or actually if you know where you send data you should use a contact create contacts using attached v card so it's like a standard v card lead and contact source of course email but you can create a new any source and let's select it here in previous videos i i, I showed how you can create a new source create new lead, lead for new incoming message from address for example you can use your email as like a ticketing system and if somebody send email to to special address you dedicated for ticketing and you assign that address uh, and you make the address forwarding all emails to your email and means that all emails forwarded from that email will create a new uh, new lead 
okay so and you can handle it as a new ticket so okay, we can ignore this lead contact distribution queen uh, so that means that if you got new lead for that email you can assign a qui to be a responsible person for that leads for example if you got a new email you can assign first will be responsible lead i mean the second responsible person for that lead will be frida because any new email will have a new lead okay and so you, you change a lead and contact responsible for leads using this qui right and yeah i will check that and also might have added an events to calendar so if you got uh, some invitations you will have that in your calendar and mailbox access which is very important surprisingly for me so you can add somebody who got an access to your email okay and then click connect okay something wrong here right and i will show you here what's mean that we can connect many users to one email for example i got info mcsoft.io i got this email and for that email i can connect another user so mailbox settings and i connected to that email me and frida so if i will now log out i will open that portal on another browser and if i will log in as frida so i'm, I'm showing you that how i can use self-hosted but in cloud you just need to have a login password of that particular account to check it so i'm logged as frida and then i'm going to mail click new message and i see that i got access to that email as well okay if i will delete this save and update so i see you see that i got access only to Frida, but I don't have info access to email. Okay, let's go further. Now, how you can create signature for your email? For that, you need to click here and edit signature. Okay, so I got a signature here already. And so everybody now use pictures and how you can connect your picture inside of your email. Right, so uh, for example, I got that text and I will copy that text and I will create a new signature. Add signature, right. And uh, for you, it looks like it's the same, but it's not the same because you need to you need to give a link to that email first. Okay, so what you need to do, you need to upload that picture to your drive first. So if you go to the drive, so I need to upload my avatar inside of the Bitrix drive. So I already uploaded it. And so how can I upload it? Just click here, file, select and upload. Right. So once you upload it, you need to create, generate a link. So click share, get public link. Okay. Public because everybody should be able to see it. Save. Then open that public link somewhere. Okay. Yeah. You see my picture where I am <clears throat> young and beautiful. When I click on the, on the picture and you got another link. So I copy that link and go back to signature. And so let's imagine it's not exist. You need to click here image source so pass here previous link and select this save so this pictures should be done the same and schedule a call it's just a hyperlink so you can click here so you got you got a link you can type something put a link so this is a link for my calendar yeah if you want to talk to me just follow that calendar and you will see my available time so put here save and you will have a signature right now, uh, another important thing here is that you can uh, connect that email to all of your emails, which is connected to your to your account. So I, for example, I'm saving this and you see that I got my account and in my account, I got four different emails, right? And it could be happening that you can connect different signatures for 
a different email. So for example, I'm selecting this email and I'm select edit signature, I'm selecting this and I will link it. So I'm selecting the email, so connect it to info. That means that only info email will be able to use it. So what I will do, I will just delete this confidential notice to, to let you see the difference. Okay, save. And my regular email, so connected to only this address, save, got confidential notice. And when I click new message, so it means that if you create an email from a lead or deal, so the same, you select, for example, Emin, and you see confidential notice. And if you select info, no confidential notice. So because that signature connected to that email, okay? Now, before I forget I to delete this and, and that email will be active for all my emails. So we added the signature. Also, we can add templates. So it's not here. If we go to the lead, we open test lead and if I'm going to email. OK, so I can type something. OK, for example, ask ChatGPT, give me email example of first touch thinking okay and we can also generate html okay so we copy html come here click here looks like this is a signature we need to delete this no, not this this one okay and let's check okay no big difference but anyway you you see how we can uh, create good looking html okay so you can use it you can save that as template Okay. Or you can copy that text and sec select edit template and go add the email template and put subject, put HTML. Okay. And what's the subject was for the test email? The default sender will be I mean, and share that template with your internal users. And you can connect that email for the leads or deals. For example, it will be leads for the first touch. Also, you can use uh, copy lot to generate email, of course. So make it better. So you can correct text, improve the text using copy lot. Okay, save. Okay, and you have copy lot generated, which is no better. Right, then you can save that template. Okay, we need to copy that name to here. Just let us next time to find this. Okay. And uh, for example, if I click refresh and I click, click email, click here, it's yeah, so all selecting this template. You got subject, you need to select two, and you got a template already. Okay. The only bad thing here that you got a list. So if you got a big list, it will be long and with no folders, which is not nice. But anyway, you got something here. Right. So we connected the email, we created a signature, we created a template, right? And now I can just make a small touch. So once you connect the email, you can go to the marketing and create email campaign from here. Well, I will discuss that in a bit, a bit more detail. So you can use custom HTML and use the same HTML generated by ChatGPT. And so you can, you can select connected email, Select subjects, create segments, which I'll discuss later, and make a test right here. Also, you can do some settings with LUTM parameters, some attachments, and select concerned for that particular email. So also you can connect that email and create email campaign based on some logic. Means that if you go to the leads, so I discuss that in my robots section. You can go to the leads and inside of the robots, you can set up email marketing based on some condition. For example, uh, you can create a link for your website and send the first email with that link. So if he will click, uh, you can pass different links here. And if, for example, client click that link or that link, it will depend on where your lead will be moved. Okay. And so we can add a trigger here. So for example, you go to robots and you can add the trigger here, like a track message view. Okay. 
So for example, if client open email from first email, which is done here, you can move a lead from first stage to second stage and send another sequence of email. Also, you can go to websites Okay, go to the website, create a website, create a link, regular link, not temporary one. So like this, so you can edit and create link okay and open site so put that uh, copy that link and uh, put inside of uh, that first email for example click here if you're interested click here if you're not interested click there on our website if okay, and then if client will click on that link that will trigger to move the email from first stage to that stage or to that stage in that case you will have another sequence of email but when you create a sequence of emails you also you can select different emails options so who will be sending that email i mean info support or somebody else okay and you can in that case make email marketing using different uh, logic and different emails but remember that for email marketing you should use external smpt that's it quite short video Hope you like it and if you like it, click like and you got a questions regarding that video, please put your questions under comments on that video. Thank you and bye bye.